Android has come a long way since its birth and recently Google has given details on the latest and greatest version dubbed as Android L and in this video I'll just, cruise, I'll just go through some of the main features. I'm calling this video Android 5.0 because I really doubt Google will release this big of an update and call it 5.0 and not call it sorry 5.0. If I'm wrong I can always change it later. Android L is a huge update so apologies if I miss anything major out. So what does Android L stand for? I'm assuming Android L stands for licorice or lollipop but we'll only know once Google confirms it. First off is design and Google has done a very good job of this. Google has introduced Material Design UI. It's a cleaner and simpler design with animations at 60 frames per second, a real time sh and real time shadows which also add depth. Redesigned navigation soft keys with triangle, circle and a square. Some of the new features car style notification in lock screen that will be ordered according to priority new feature called heads up notification a pop-up notification that displays on top of the app you are on instead of taking the whole screen like phone calls used to previously do google now has been updated to inc include installed app previously only a few had apps had this privilege recent apps new uh, new api allows google chrome tabs to and potentially other apps that use the API to fill recent items. It looks much better now but I'm hoping that there will be an option to opt out of this as I feel it could get more cluttered. Android L also integrates Samsung Knox for greater security for enterprises. New support uh, Bluetooth 4.1 and 64-bit CPU support. Art is now default runtime in Android L as it is uh, more faster and memory efficient than Dalvik. Battery Android L introduces new feature called Project Volta which was specifically made for improving battery life. Battery Historian this allows you to check your battery on a time axis and a new battery saver mode allows you to underclock CPU and screen refresh rate or, off, uh, or turn off your background data. Some little things I thought I'd mention, new rotation lock feature has been added and a do not disturb mode. Good news for Nexus 5 and Nexus 7 owners as they can now flash the new preview build. Bear in mind this is by no means a stable version uh, for daily use. I will leave the download link in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. The first time I'm doing something like this so apologies if I missed anything out like comment and subscribe and until next one as until next time take care